up guys? Scott Zangley Outdoors here today. Um, bringing you my rod reel arsenal. It's been a long time. Five months is a long time without making a video. Been really busy at work, so let's get right into it. First rod is my swim bait rod. We got my Aris Micro Pulse Tournament Series Micro Guide. Uh, this is the Micro Pulse X76 Extra Heavy. Um, fast action. Got a Scroll BBC One floater, lavender shad. Uh, Daiwa Lexa 300 power handle with uh, 50 pound power pro. That's my swim bait setup or my big one anyway. Then we got a, a utility rod and smaller swim bait setup. I use the fish heavier football jigs on this rod too. Shimano Crucial 7.3 medium heavy. Um, this is a fast action rod, 14 pound fluorocarbon. Um, FC Reaction by Sunline, got a Spro BBZ1 Junior and a Wicked Perch. This is, uh, I believe, this one floats. This would be the slow sink, sorry. I got on four or five of it. It's kind of just, a, they're a horse apiece. I fish them both on either one. I try to fish the floaters on braid, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. You can't carry that many rods. But this is a nice utility rod for the price with a Shimano Corrado eye on there. Uh, 7 to 1 V ratio. Real nice reel for throwing these baits. Next rod is a rod I picked up pretty recently. I uh, really like it. Fished a lot with it this summer. It's a St. Croix Avid X. This is a 6 foot, six foot 9 medium light extra fast. Uh, the SC2 Graphite. 6 to 10 pound line. Um, Eighth to a half an ounce. I usually throw smaller flick shakes on here. Um, on here I got a CI4 Plus 2500, five pound uh, Sunline FC Sniper. Really nice rod. Really, really light. It's got the Shimano Guide Trade system where it goes from a regular to semi micro to micro the rest of the way. Really, really nice. Get long casts off of it. Haven't had a single wind on in this thing all summer, and I've used it quite a bit. Um, again, just fishing like the 4.8 inch flick and shimmy on here. Um, really nice rod for that, really nice and light. Uh, very good skipping rod as well. I also fish tubes on that rod, just because I like a little bit lighter action. Next rod's a rod I've had since I started basically big into bass fishing. This is my Dobbin Savvy Series, a 703C SS. Um, 7 foot 3 medium heavy, Dobbin Savvy series. Um, on here I got a Lake Fork, Live Magic Popper, and Midnight Bluegill. And then I got first Corrado I bought. Uh, this is a 7 2 to 1, uh, 200 HG, 12 pound siege on there. Uh, really, really nice top water rod actually. Um, it says it's rated for single jigs, flukes, Texas rig, and spinnerbait. I really like using this for, for spooks. Um, as well as poppers. It's got a real nice action, got enough back hole now you can, you can horse those fish on mono and not lose them. Next rod's another new rod and reel combo. Oh, I got it this spring. Oops, sorry. God, that hurts. Um, it's Apollo Max 3D. Um, this is a 6.9 or 683, 6 foot 8, sorry. Medium heavy. Um, real, real nice. Uh, Texas rigging rod. I like this for like beavers, creatures, smaller creature baits, stuff like that. Anything bigger, like the big monster worms and brush hogs, I fish on other setups. But this is a, a real good creature bait rod, along with uh, I also fish the smaller worms on here, seven inches of uh, power worms and such. Uh, on there, I got a Shimano Scorpion 200X. Um, this is the Japanese version of the Corrado. As you can see, it's red in color. Um, real, real nice looking reel and actually is levels above uh, the American Corrado. It, it casts way better. It's a lot smoother. Uh, got a lot more drag power actually, like another three or four pounds of drag. So that's quite a bit when you're talking about 15 pounds of drag. So there's that one. My next one's another St. Croix. Uh, St. Croix Avidex. This is my jig rod. Um, St. Croix Avidex, 7 foot heavy. Um, with the micro guides, that's what the Avidex stands for. There's the Avid and the Avidex. Avid's a regular guide, uh, Avidex is micros. Plus, this is a 7 foot heavy 
fast action. Uh, I got 16 pound uh, FC FC sniper on there, and I got a a custom made jig. Can't remember where I even got these, but I got a Rage Craw on there. I'm gonna be using that color tomorrow. I'm supposed to be going fishing with Wisconsin Cast Masters, so we'll see how that goes. But on here, I got a Shimano Scorpion XT1500, which is the old Corrado. It's the E series. Uh, thing is sweet. I love it for jigs. You can cast a mile with it, and it's just a very simple reel that works very, very well. Next one's my swim jig rod. Uh, this is from Crucial, 6.9, medium heavy. Uh, 30 pound braid on this one. I got a core, uh, 50 series. This is my swim jig rod, like I said. Um, they're a worm and jig rod of the Crucial. It's the red series. Now they're green, like I showed you. The first one's like green and, uh, and glossed over graphite. This one's kind of a flatter black or glossed over black, I guess. Um, EVA foam handles, really, really nice setup for swim jigs really feel the bite with this rod and with that 30 pound uh, SX spray you can you can force those fish in without a, without a problem. Next rod is my chatterbait rod. Um, chatterbaits and square bills. St. Croix Rage. Um, pretty sweet rod actually. Um, I like the smaller the smaller handle that they have here. It's just a, a plastic or composite handle. Really, really nice actually because it gives you that. A lot of my old square bow rods are old fashioned where they're a short, short cork handle, so you just kind of whip up and down the bank all day and you crank your brains out. But this one's got 12 pound fluorocarbon on it. Uh, Z Man Chatterbait. It's kind of what I like throwing um, early spring, early fall, stuff like that. Um, very, very nice rod. I do believe the action on this one is a 7 foot medium power. I have fish Texas rigs on it. It's okay for it. Um, I did that at the river though, so that's a kind of a lot of short clips and stuff like that. Not a very good super long cast rod for Texas rigs, especially when the weight's not tight. Next up is my jerkbait rod. Um, only Abu I own now is a Veritas. Uh, 7 foot medium. It's got 12 pound FC reaction on there. Shimano Kroner CI4 Plus. Uh, this is like the 150 or whatever they call it. Spro microphone and stick. Nice little reaction bait rod. Um, I have thrown spinner baits on here. Good rod for that as well. But I try, I don't usually fish a lot of spinner baits this morning. Mostly swim jigs and chatter baits. But I never rule them out, so I also fish them too. So. Um, but also a nice little rod. Really like this reel for casting for these lighter jerk baits. You can get them out there a really, really long ways, and you have all the adjustability you want with their. With our new uh, CI4 Plus system, um, I can't remember what they actually call it. I think it's in Infinity Cats or something like that. But uh, this one's got some triticles on the inside, and that's got the little magnetic dial to really help dial in your casts. Next one's not a rod that I've had for a really long time. Uh, this is basically like my utility. Uh, utility spinning rod. Fish a lot of flukes on this. A lot of donkey rigs. A lot, a lot of donkey rigs. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's a double fluke rig, two flukes on one line. Uh, you got one on your main line, and then you got another one on a leader about two feet long, and they both just swing around. Really, really good fall time bait. Uh, might try it a little bit tomorrow. 12 pound F SX braid, um, 6.9 medium power, Dobbin Savvy Series rod. Really, really like this combo. It's very, very powerful. Um, and I got a Shimano Sahara, or Symmetry, sorry, uh, 3000 FJ. The older version, but it's still really a nice reel. Really, really like Shimano. As you can see, my arsenal has had one die away, it, and it's mostly Shimano dominated. Alright, got another Dobbins rod. I've had this one a really long time, too. This has got the old, or the G series Corral 200G uh, 7. My frog rod, strictly my frog rod. 7 foot 3 medium heavy Dobbins Savvy series. Um, with a spro, I got the new bronze I shed on there. 50 pound power pro. Um, really, really nice rod for that. You can really pull fish out of cover with this. Fish in the river, um, fishing tournaments on the river. Did very, very well with this combo, especially with that same color frog too. Um, fishing pools 7, 8, and 9. Uh, it'll do well on all of those, and that sparse eel grass and sparse vegetation. When you're back in those sloughs, fishing for those bigger 3, 4, maybe even 5 pound largemouth. 
um, does very well with the braid. Also horses, good bow fish, or bow, bow fin and uh, pike out of the weeds too. So there's that. Okay, I got three more, technically four, but all right, three more rods I'm gonna show. Um, this one's a seven foot one, what else there? Seven two. Um, medium power Shamal Kimura uh, drop shotting rod. Very, very nice rod. Um, got a size one owner stinger hook on there. Five pound fluorocarbon leader with a 12 pound braid main line. Got a Stratic CI4 plus 3000 FJ on there. Really, really like this combo. Very, very sensitive. Very, very well put together drop shot combo that, that Shimano has, has put together here. I really, really, really cannot stress how much I like this combo. Put a lot of big smallies on this and a lot of big large mouth too. Um, I was a drop shotting fanatic, still am. I uh, really like the finesse fishing, so this is definitely a combo that plays plays to a finesse fisherman's strengths. Uh, it really brings those fish and brings your drop shotting game to a whole nother level if you ask me. There's a lot of good drop shot rods out there like the Powell's and stuff, but for the money, I don't think you can you can beat this combo. I'm sure, the rod is two hundred and twenty-five dollars, but it's it's worth every penny you pay for it. Those collection rods. Okay, next one's like a, it's a mainly a big worm rod, about ten inch and up worms, but I also fish jigs and uh, bigger spoons on it. Right now, I got a Talon Custom Lures. Uh, Lake Fork Tackle Flutter Spoon, Talon Custom Lures paints them and they sell them, uh, they resell them, but that's a bar fish color, really good perch imitation. Shimano Conar 286, um, 14 pound fluorocarbon on here. This is a 7 foot 3 I believe, 7 2 sorry, 7 2 medium heavy fast action. Fuji Guide Train on here, um, again it's a standard size and then semi micro and micro the rest of the way all. Nine guides are micro, one semi, one regular. Really, really smooth casting setup. Uh, with that chrome arc, you can throw these big, big spoons a mile. Uh, works very, very well. This is a Lake Geneva killer. Um, put a lot of big smallies of spring on this color, and uh, hopefully do maybe very well tomorrow with it. I don't know if I'm gonna bring it with me or not, but the rod will be with me. I don't know if the spoons are coming though. Round it up. Um, last but definitely not least, and my favorite bait caster probably out of all of them, is a combo that I picked up when we were at the sports show this spring uh, with Ken and Ben. We got a Shimano Kimono Worm Jig. This is a 6'8", I believe. Yeah, 6 foot 8 medium heavy, fast action. Um, Fuji Guide Train on there again. 10 pound Sunline Sniper. Um, this is a very, this is like my smaller Texas rigs. Um, finesse, flukes, stuff like that. Tubes. It's a very, very good tube rod as well. Is that uh, Avidex spinning rod? Right now, I just got my favorite color, Rocket Crawl on there. Small Texas rig. Um, really, really, really like this setup a lot. Um, caught a lot of big smallies on this spring. But uh, with that 10 pound FX and this uh, Shimano Core on here as well. Everything about this combo is light, finesse, sensitive, uh, but it's also very powerful. You can also horse those bigger fish, especially if you're fishing around docks, picking them apart like I, I like to in the spring sometimes. Get some of them post spawners that are hanging up around there looking for an easy meal. You pick apart docks and in weed edges, and you can really pull out some nice fish with this rod because you can feel everything. You can feel those fish and just pick it up and swim away with it very nice and easy. And some of them that just pick it up and sit there. You can feel it very easy when you raise that rod to move your bait. This this rod's so sensitive, you, it, it's like a thump when it hits the top of their mouth and the line hits the top of their lip. You can feel it. So that's about it for today. Or for today, guys. Um, I got one more rod. It's an Aris uh, Micro Pulse X. It's a new one. Uh, that's a seven foot three medium power um, modern action. It's like my crankbait rod. Right now I don't have a reel for it. I never really had. I always kind of switched out with one of these other ones. But 
Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Sorry I kept it so long. Sorry it's been so long since I made a video. Hopefully gonna get back into it. Um, got a Polaris Razor. I'll do a review on that. Probably new truck review and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to keep you guys busy. This has been Wisconsin Angling Outdoors, and I will see you guys later.